Hi, welcome back. So in this video, you, um, we are going to be solving rational equation. Okay, so you're given two rational, you're given a rational equation. It's made of two rational expression where you can see the variable x in the denominator. Okay, so before even we start um, solving, what I would like you to do, you're going to identify the restriction. The restriction means, okay, there is a number that the domain cannot be, okay? Uh, and the reason is, when you have a rational expression, okay, you cannot have a number divided by zero, okay? So you need to figure out, okay, what is the number that we make, what is the number if you give to X that we make the denominator equal to zero, okay? So, to do that, you want to take the you want to take the denominator, and then you set it not equal to zero, okay, and you solve for x. So here, I notice we are, I have a difference of two perfect square, okay. So I can factor this x square. So I take the denominator, which is x square minus sixteen, cannot be equal to zero. So I'm going to factor out factor the difference of two perfect square, which is going to be, in case you don't see. Um, x minus four times x plus four. And you take each, you apply the zero poly property, you take each factor, set it equal to zero, not equal to zero and solve for x. Okay. So zero, zero, zero. Now here you, x cannot be equal to positive four, the other is x cannot be equal to negative four. Why? So if you plug in uh, four here, Positive four squared is 16, 16 minus 16 is zero. Again, you cannot have a number divided by zero. The same is true here, okay? Now, if you use, if X is equal to negative four, we end up negative four, the entire quality being squared is positive 16, uh, take away 16 is again zero, okay? So for this part, you end up with zero. So again, um, a number divided by zero is then defined. So you need to remove the number positive four and negative four from the domain, okay? So now what do we do next? Next, um, what we what, what would, um, you're going to do next is, we're going to identify the, I call that the LCD, the least common denominator, okay? We want the same denominator, okay? You want it to be the same. So what would you do to, for it to be the same? But before we do that, let me continue further. I know that I can factor x squared minus 16 as x minus four times x plus four. That's where you factor the difference of two perfect square. Okay, so then we multiply. So I notice here, okay, I want the denominator to be the same, okay? I see here that they do share the same factor of x minus four. Okay, so the only factor that is missing here, but it, on the, the second rational expression on your right, is the factor x plus four. So the least common denominator is going to be, okay, x minus four times x plus four. Okay. So now I need to ask myself, okay, what number do I have to multiply the factor x minus four to end up with the factor x to LCD, which is x minus four times x plus four. And that number is going to be uh, positive, the factor x plus four. And whatever you do below, you do it also on top. So you're not changing the rational expression. So you end up having um, 16 over x minus four times x plus four equal to two times x plus four over x plus minus four times the factor x plus four. Okay, so we, we do have the same denominator. Okay, now we can now multiply by the LCD. Okay, we can multiply by the LCD, which is going to be x minus four times x plus four. So you're going to multiply each rational expression by the LCD. Okay. And you end up having Okay. 
Okay, so a number divided by itself simplified to one whole. Okay, a number divided by itself simplified to one whole. So you're left with 16 equal to two times x plus four. Okay, you, in my previous video, I explained that we didn't have to, you could have skipped those two steps, okay, by doing what? You are using, um, so you are use this equation. So let me show you what I mean, okay? Okay, so you could have used the original, the, fact, uh, the factor form, the factor uh, form at, in the denominator. And what you're going to do next, you're going to multiply each term by the LCD, okay? You multiply everything by the LCD. Remember the LCD is a factor X minus four times X plus four. I'm showing the other way, okay, you plug them, okay? So you end up with uh, 16, okay? So here is a, after we distribute, the factor, the LCD to each term. So we multiply the LCD to each rational expression. Then we can simplify. So I notice that X minus four goes to simplify to one. So you're left with 16 equal to two times X plus four. Okay, so which match with what we have here? So you could make the denominator the same you see here, the first way I, I did is I made a denominator the same by multiply x, a factor x minus four by x plus four top and below. Then I multiply the entire equation by the LCD and simplify, and I end up with 16 equal to two times x plus four. Okay, so now the trick next, all you could have done is multiply by the LCD right away. Okay, and then you simplify correctly. Okay, so that's it now, I'll show you two ways. So now, um, then you're going to distribute, if you want to distribute the two, let's, or you can divide both sides by two. Let me, since two is multiply, let's just divide both sides by two, because 16 is either even number. So this one to plus, simplify to one, this is eight, equal to x plus four. And I want to solve for x. So to make x alone, I need to take away four on both sides. So I end up with four equal to X. Or it's just the same thing as X equal to four. So now, uh oh So what did we say earlier about the restriction? So you have two restriction here. We, we say that the restriction is the domain cannot be the number positive four and or negative four. X cannot be positive four, neither negative four. Now, when you solve for X, what do you end up having? we say that the solution is x equal four, or we know that x cannot be equal to positive four. So what can you conclude then? Okay. So you say that x equal four is an, remember extraneous solution, okay, by consequence. So the only solution, so there is, okay, X equal four cannot be the solution because X cannot be equal to positive four. Okay, so we call X equal four is extra new solution. So um, the equation, let me, so the, let me write, so the equation, uh, the equation has no solution. Okay, so remember X cannot be equal to four. Even you saw the end of it, x equal four, it doesn't work because x four, we make the denominator equal to zero. So we cannot have a zero in the denominator. So the, uh, the equation has no solution, period. That's it, okay? So again, what do we, how do we solve rational equation? So um, identify the restrictions, okay? Now you want to multiply both sides, uh, make the denominator, this, identify the LCD, and make sure the denominator match the LCD, then distribute the LCD to each, um, to, the, uh, to the, both uh, to the equation, so that the, the, there's no more fraction, and it's easier to use algebra to solve a, a polynomial equation. Okay, so, uh, and, and I explained earlier, what you could have done also is, you could have just uh, multiply by the LCD right away. Okay, you, didn't, you, didn't, you do not need to make the denominator the same and you end up with the same thing, okay? So do whatever works best for you. Method, 
works best for you. Thank you for listening. It was my pleasure uh, teaching you today. Have a wonderful day and see you into the next video. Bye-bye.